All right, hey everyone again, Edwin here from Resolutions Designed, coming at you with another brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, what I'm gonna teach you guys is how to add a Facebook Messenger chat bubble into your Shopify store. And on this example, we're gonna use this website for our client that we're going to create for today. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, please smash that like button, very important, and press subscribe because this will help me out make more videos like this in the future so that you can go ahead and continue building out your Shopify store without paying any developer. So think of it as I'm your virtual developer. All I ask instead of money is a smash to the like button and subscribe. Okay, before we go ahead and begin, uh, all of our clients that um, hire us, right? I always like to give them a shout out. I like to give them a shout out because, you know, they look out for us and many of them actually come from the YouTube channel. You know, uh, they say, hey, Ed, I like what you do on the videos. I'd rather you do it, you know, because I like what you do. And so this is one of our clients. She just launched very, very recently. We're very happy to see her website go live. Um, and it's there's the owner right there. Give her a shout out. Ashley Lopez. Uh, her store is finally live and she's able to sell some products. That's a shout out to us right there, Resolutions Design. So I wanna say, Ashley, thank you very much for hiring us. We hope very much success for you and the years to come. Let's continue down to the tutorial. Okay, so you have a Shopify store already set up. We want to add that bubble. Go to Facebook. Make sure that your Facebook page is set up properly. Then once you go here, click where it says settings, click on settings. Once you're on settings, you're going to go right here where it says messaging and on messaging, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we want to add messenger to your website right here. Let's go ahead and get started. This dialog is going to appear. We're going to go ahead and press next. From here, we're gonna have kind of like a preview as to what this is gonna look like. By the way, guys, this is not gonna cost you any money. The, don't worry about those Shopify apps that says put a bubble here. No, this works very, very good. And it's free. I know you guys like the word free. I like the word free, right? If you like free, smash that like button. Anyways, so we have the bubble right here. This is how it's gonna look like. If you guys wanna change the language, what do you want it to say in the beginning? You could change that out right here. Change the greeting, right? We're gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Let's continue, press next. From here, you have the ability to change the actual colors of how this bubble's gonna look like, okay? So with me and my clients, whenever we handle this type of work, I like to stay within the branding colors of the business because it just makes sense. And so because of that, I'm gonna go right ahead and take a screenshot of this little corner right there. Um, the screenshot tool is by the way from Mac and you can see that we have kind of like, yeah, there it is. So. I'm going to go ahead and find that color code by using this website right here called HTML color codes. There's the link right there. I'll try to see if I can add it on the description. We're going to go ahead and upload that screenshot and there it is, right? And with my mouse, I'm going to hover inside of the actual box and there goes my color code. I'm going to triple click on that, right click copy, grab that color code. Now I'm going back to this interface here. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. If so, please rewind. We're gonna go right here and replace that color and I'm gonna press paste. If I could press paste. Look at that, I messed up. Oh no, all right, here we go again, let's try it. Copy. Paste. See the green? There it is. Green is money, right? Let's continue. Uh, I'll go ahead and press next because I like how that looks. And then here, make sure that you put your URL. Mine's didn't show up, right? But 
by default, this is going to be blank. So go into your Shopify store and make sure that your domain is obviously set up. So it look kind of looks like this. Triple click on that, right click copy and paste it right here and then press save. Make sure you do that. So before you even try to copy this code, go over here and make sure that you put your URL. Make sure it's not the dot myshopify.com. Make sure that, make sure it's the actual domain. If you guys uh, don't know how to plug in your domain, I'll make a separate video for that. Uh, and press save. Once you press save here, now let's focus on the code, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hover over this box and right anywhere you touch in this box, you just click on it and it copies the code. It just automatically copies the code, okay? Now let's go to the back end of Shopify. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you go to, if you guys don't know where I'm at, what I do is I go to online store, okay? And I'm in themes. From here, make sure you click on actions and duplicate. Duplicate, meaning that whatever it is that you have right now, you're creating a backup, okay? And then the backup, it's gonna show up right here because we're gonna do some code edits, okay? So we're gonna make a backup, and the reason for that backup is that in case you mess up, you could always use this one to overwrite whatever messed up mistake you might have done over here, okay? So before you continue on this step, make sure that you go here and you press duplicate so that this goes right here as a backup. Once this backup is complete, I know it's gonna take a little bit of time depending on how heavy your theme is. We're gonna go right here to where it says actions and we're going to edit the code. We're gonna edit the code, all right? Now, here we are to some things that we might intimidate you guys. Don't let this intimidate you, okay? Don't let this intimidate you. We're gonna click on right over here where it says theme liquid, and this is gonna show up. This is the theme liquid. So in case you guys can't see this, I'm going to click on right here to kind of expand this a little bit, and I'm gonna go on dark mode because dark mode is cool, right? Not sure if you've ever seen Shopify on dark mode. If you like dark mode, smash that like button. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. So. What we're looking for is pretty much a tag that is called body, because we're gonna go ahead and body this code, right? Um, so I'm gonna scroll down, and every theme is different. So don't think that what you're seeing right now, you're gonna see it exactly on your theme. In my case, typically body comes after the head, right? So you could see the closing head tag right there, then right after that comes body. Yours might come out different, but that's what you're looking for. The open right here. There, you see it? There. So if you find your theme code looking like this, watch this. If your theme code is looking tight like this, what you're going to do is click on right here, press enter, 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 enter and get some space going. You need some space to breathe, right? That's what we're doing here. And then we're gonna go right click and then paste that code that we brought over from Facebook into here, okay? That's why we wanna let it breathe so we could see it, okay? And once we do that, on the upper right-hand corner right here, we're gonna go ahead and press save. Once we press save, let's go back into our website. I always like to keep a tab open so I could easily go back and forth. And then right here, I'm gonna press refresh on this website. Once I press refresh, there goes our bubble, folks. If you like that smooth operator, press that like button, subscribe button, because this helps me and motivates me to create more great videos and tutorials for you guys. I'm almost reaching, as of today, June 10th, 2020, I'm almost reaching 3K subscribers. I wanna say thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. And I'm thinking about you guys. Wanna know why? Check it out. I have separate notes of videos that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do these type of videos for you guys based on the comments that you post. 
So anything that you guys want me to talk about as a Shopify expert, let me know in the comments so that I could create videos for you and break that down, okay? Other than that, thank you very much. Be safe. Peace.